Hello, you're watching The Luna Show. I decided to do a show on HIV and AIDS and young people. And because this was a special teen party at Escuelita, I decided to go there and interview a few young people to let me know how HIV affects their life and how they deal with it and how they have safe sex. So I hope you guys enjoy this show. And I hope you guys educate yourselves and get to know how you could prevent HIV and AIDS. Hi, Louie. What's going on? Nothing much. How are you, Luna? Good. Where are we? We're at Escalita Nightclub in New York City in the heart of Times Square. Mm, and what's happening tonight? Um, we're having our first ever uh, LGBT and ally teen bash, um, trying to get the younger community to be involved and having fun and getting safe sex messages at the same time because there is people here handing out um, condoms and promotion about safe sex and doing safe sex interviews. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's important to have safe, safer sex messages at clubs and bars and places like that? I think that clubs, bars, uh, lounges, um, anything that involves people needs to have safe sex messages because when people are under the influence, especially our younger uh, generation, especially the, the children who are here tonight, especially ages 13 to, to 24 where the virus is. But they're is, not under the influence because right? they're teenagers. Well, they're not supposed to be. But I, I, you know, honestly, and to be honest with you, I know that there's a lot of young people who can be under the influence at a younger age and who shouldn't be, who it's, it's illegal to be under the influence at a younger age. But I know many young people who indulge in these things because they, you know, may not have the right role modelship or they might be not under the right leadership. And that's where some of these organizations that, uh, that we work with in the city, you know, come into play to, to give these messages to the young people to be safe, to be protected, and to... Uh, to stay out of the influence. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how does HIV affect you personally? HIV affects me in a lot of ways. I have a lot of um, a lot of close friends and a lot of close family um, who have the virus, and and some who I've lost to the virus over the years. And it it really affects me to the point where I'm I'm really protected myself. You know, I, I I don't like to have multiple sex partners at a time. If I'm in a relationship, I like to try try and stay monogamous only so that I know that both of us are safe I, I usually like to go get tested with my sex partners um, if I know they're going to be long term or if they're just short term then you know I have the conversation with them mm -hmm. in the moment versus you know not talking about it at all because I think it's really important and I know sometimes we slip and sometimes we forget but it's always really important to use condoms no matter what I've ever done that is the most important thing to me if there is not a condom in the room it's not happening because that's something that I feel that I would be giving up a part of myself and putting myself in danger and I don't want to do that and I wouldn't want to have to deal with something like that. So without having a condom, like what, what else can you do? You can give massages, you can, um, you can mutual masturbate, you can do uh, a bunch of different things that, you know, pleasure each other without, uh, you know, um, making out, stuff like that, just, just uh, foreplay more than, you know, uh, penetration. So what do you think is needed as a whole to minimize HIV infection with people between the ages of 13 and 24? I think continuing the message about safe sex is really important and getting it out there to some of the crowds that may not be uh, more open to it and, and get them to really understand that it is something that can really affect your life in a lot of different ways and to you know have people who maybe are more knowledgeable about it or people who, who uh, are infected speak to these younger people and get them to understand that it's not a joke it's really not a joke we've lost so many people in this community to the virus and we don't need to lose anymore especially our young generation because they're the ones coming up behind us doing the work that we're doing now you know in the LGBT community you know doing these prevention messages doing you know these interviews and doing this stuff to get the word out there and to breed them to be able to do that when they're older and still be able to do that because they're not you know infected they're, they're safe they're playing safe they're acting safe they're not under the influence and they're leading safe and healthy lives mm -hmm. so how do you make safe safe sex fun safe sex can be fun in a lot of ways um, I personally don't see the difference between wearing a condom and not wearing a condom when I'm having sex even though I've always worn a condom during sex I think that it doesn't take away the pleasure it it feels the same it it, it actually makes it better for me sometimes um, and you can still have fun just just enjoy it but be safe you know if you're if you're gonna rim you know use the dental dam if you're gonna you know suck a dick use uh, a non-lubricated condom that has mint flavor you know make flavor it up you know do different things but make it your own you know enjoy your pleasure but be safe while you're doing it 
Tell me, how does HIV affect you? Um, HIV and the education of HIV is imperative within the gay community. Um, I do know that the prevention of it and being educated in, in it is definitely important, especially for us. So. so what do you think is needed to minimize the infection rates that are, because between the ages of 13 and 24, the numbers are going up. So we're at a teen party. What would you like to tell your friends about that? I'm um, definitely practice safe sex. Um, wrap it up as always. Um, never telling you not to have it, but you know what I'm saying? Just definitely be safe when it comes to sex and just definitely be educated. Do you think that's just that's easy to say? Just use a condom, be safe. Do you think it's, it's difficult for some people? I don't see why it shouldn't be difficult. I mean, you do know the cause and effect of HIV in, in the event that you are infected. So it's like you either use it or you're putting yourself in risk. Mm -hmm. Do you think that young people are condom fatigued? They're tired of hearing about HIV AIDS and, and safe sex and condoms? You should be fatigued to the point where you're almost just like, you know what I'm saying, when you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth, as soon as you have sex, you put on a condom. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important for people to get to know their sexual partners before? I think so. I mean, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't happen all the time, but just pr protect yourself. Mm -hmm. At least you know that you're good. How do you make safe sex fun? <laughs> um, I usually try new things, you know what I'm saying, with sex and um, condoms and things like that, you know what I'm saying, you can different colors and flavors and stuff like that, so. Yeah. HIV affects me because like a lot of people around me, they are so vulnerable to it and lots, I know some people that have it as well. So HIV, it actually affected me personally and my family as well because I had an uncle that died from HIV. So it's like, it's a big, it's some parts it's taboo in my family, but it affects me in every way possible. Yeah. So as, as somebody who's 19 years old, how do you deal with that? Like. Um, I say protected because there's so many things going around besides HIV. So it's good to just stay protected. And what I do is just make sure I stick to one partner at a time. You know, yeah. What do you think is needed to minimize HIV infection? More knowledge on the, the disease. Um, there's not enough going around, and lots of people in my school don't even know what HIV really is. They automatically assume AIDS or you know you're gonna die or the second and third. So I think knowledge everywhere, not only in the homosexual world, but the heterosexual world as well, needs to be expanded. And the, uh, the numbers for HIV rates are high between the ages of 13 and 24. What, as a 19 year old, how do you, what do you think about that? Like, it, it makes me sad because you're so young and so many young kids don't know exactly how you contract HIV or how it's spread and stuff like that. So then to hear that 13 year olds are getting this disease, it's very heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. What is safe sex to you? Safe sex is no sex, or as less sex as possible, um, but if anything, condoms all the way. Do you think that people are condom fatigued? I you know, tired of hearing safer sex and HIV and... I think so. Lots of people, are, I, I, like, in a way are starting to, like, fade off in terms of, like, using condoms and stuff like that, but it's, it, it's a must. It's a, it's a necessity. What is one message you would like to tell your friends? Always stay protected and stick with one partner. Don't do, you know, the three partners at a time or going around having sex with all these people. Just stick to one. Oh, so you think it's important to, to know your partners before you have sex? Know your partner, get tested with your partner, you know, regularly. Not every, like, like make sure you get tested together so both of you know your knowledge. Mm -hmm. So how important is it to get HIV tested? Very important because you, sometimes you won't even know that you have the disease. Um, it's not one of those things like, you know, you immediately get sick or you immediately get this, that, and the third. It comes on slowly, so therefore get tested on a regular basis. Like, just use a condom every time, you know, and just check your, your the condom if it's right, you know, and it's not expired, you know, make sure it's, you know, clean and everything. And know your partner's status and your status at the same time, you know, before y'all do anything, you know. So do you, do you think it's, it's important to get to know the person you're... Of course, and your status and his status, you know, because you don't... Even though if you check yourself, there's still a point that you, you don't know what you might have. But it's good to be safe, you know, and to check your status and your partner's status. What's one message you would tell your friends that are watching this video right now? Use a condom, bitches.